What's up guys, welcome back to Everyday Minimalist. My name is Brandon and today we're doing a different type of video. So we're going to Blade Ops headquarters and then we'll kind of show you guys what that looks like. And then we're picking up the Benchmade 9400. We'll see you guys in a second and cut the B-roll. Let's go ahead and get going. Um, Blade Ops is about 10, 15 minutes away, so uh, nothing too crazy. We had to be a little bit more quiet there in the house. I have the girlfriend sleeping, so I didn't want to wake her up. Yeah, right now it's about 8 a.m., and we're going to go check out the Benchmade 9400. The so Benchmade 9400 is going to be a newer automatic version of the Benchmade 940, which we did, in fact, review, and I'll link that video in the description below if you guys want to check that out. I'm pretty excited about this one just because it does have some features like that new locking system that they've got. It's not gritty anymore I don't think. You know I, I'm just gonna take a look at it see what my initial impressions are and then we'll see you guys here in just a second at Blade Ops HQ. We just showed up at Blade Ops headquarters. Oh my God, guys, I'm so hyped for this 9400. Let's go on in and then see what's up. Hoof, okay. Yeah, I didn't want to be too awkward in there, but we secured the payload, boys. We secured it. The new Benchmade Osborne 9400 Auto is in our hands. Let's dive right in to the first overview of the Benchmade 9400. Sweet guys, we are back here in the office. Here it is, Benchmade 9400 Auto, the remake to the 940. I'm super hyped about it. This is kind of what the box looks like. Check it out. This is gonna be a black class knife, which is really interesting because you guys know the 940 that we just reviewed, that is gonna be blue class. It's gonna be more so made for like your standard military personnel, first responders, that sort of thing. Built to take a beating is what that means. So let's go ahead and open this up. And then the first thing you'll see is it does come in this microfiber cloth that Benchmade always does include. And then of course the Benchmade manuals letting you know what the warranties are, how to keep it maintained. Of course, the Benchmade microfiber cloth, it does have the branding on there, which is pretty nice. And there you guys go. So there is the Benchmade 9400. It looks very similar to like your standard, you know, 940, but the biggest difference is it is an automatic. So you do have this really nice button there. And let's go ahead and give it a shot, guys. Ooh, holy crap. <laughs> Oh man, I gotta do that again. That is absolutely insane. Yeah, that fires as hard as a Protec. So I have the Quaken right here, and then we're gonna compare the sound of production with this versus the 9400, the brand new one. So here you guys go. Yeah, that, that doesn't even come close. This 9400 is, oh my God, that's making a statement just, I can't guys, I can't. Yeah, the 9400 does kick insanely hard. I'd be really cautious into seeing who you actually pass this knife off to. Um, if they're a novice and don't really understand how a knife works, um, yeah, they're probably gonna drop it. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. That's how hard this thing kicks. Let's move on to the specifications. With the overall length, you're looking at 7.87 inches. The blade itself is gonna be about 3.4 inches. The blade is made of S30 V steel and that'll be stamped right there on the blade. And then this is gonna be a reverse Tonto style with a flat grind. I really like this type of blade style just because it's gonna be very useful, um, especially because it does hold a point. It's gonna be more robust in the blade stock. You do have a pretty large cutting edge. Looking at the backside of the knife, there is gonna be an arrow style pocket clip, which is reversible. So if you are lefty, um, you can do that. However, keep in mind, 
Um, if you are gonna be firing at lefty, you will have to use your index finger instead of your thumb finger because there's nothing on this side here to deploy it. So looking at the back side of this knife, there is a really big change that Benchmade did make. With the back spacer, going all the way up, you will come to that point where there is a safety that is gonna be crazy good. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but it's a lot more clicky now. So if you guys have ever experienced any other Benchmade autos, um, typically you have to push down and then push up and there's a gritty feeling. With this one is just clicky. So I really enjoy the fact that they did it on the 9400. Um, this is a complete redesign and I hope they actually use this safety mechanism on their future knives. Um, that kind of wraps it up. There aren't any thumb studs on the blade itself. We do have that first production model. So if you can pick one up right now and you do like that stamp, um, totally get it. There's the initial overview of the Benchmade 9400. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead, throw me a thumbs up. If you disliked it, throw me a thumbs down. If you guys like this style of content um, with the whole vlog style, I guess, um, let me know in the comment section below. Um, if you guys would like to see some photographs of this knife and many others, go to my Instagram page. It's just every.day.minimalist, and I will leave a link in the description. If you guys would like to see more content here on YouTube, go ahead, hit subscribe, ring that bell icon so you know when the next video is live. Thank you guys so much for dropping by, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.